What's going on Sneaker Talk family? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new foot action store in Toronto that just opened up like 10 minutes away from my house at Fairview Mall. Hopefully they have some heat when we stop by. I also got a couple of unboxings, some new sneaker pickups I bought myself to show you guys and we're going to be announcing the winner for the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Sesame giveaway for March. So with that said, let's get to the March Yeezy giveaway winner. Now if you guys have been following the channel you guys know for the month of March we did a giveaway for these sesames in size 10 and all you had to do is be subscribed to the channel like and comment on the videos answering the common question of the day so the winner of these Adidas Easy Boost 350 v2 sesames are on screen right now so congratulations to you we got so many entries this month both on YouTube and on Instagram so if you guys took an L don't worry we have another giveaway for the month of April and this time it's not gonna be for a pair of sesames in Instead, boom, these right here, we got another fresh pair of Yeezys, but this time a size 10 pair of uh, some, some, what are these called again? I already forgot the name, Static. The Static Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. So we have a brand new pair. If you guys wanna enter the giveaway for these, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel right now. Subscribe to my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365. I'll have a link down below. And of course, like this video and comment on any video I upload this month. Best of luck to everybody entering this giveaway. You guys can also enter on Instagram, at Sneaker Talk CA and at Sneaker Talk 365. It'll be over on that page. You guys will see how you can enter over on there. All right, so for the very first pickup of the day we have a pair of pumas and this is a sneaker i absolutely love in a brand new colorway that i don't own yet now this is a shoe i bought on sale retail price was 160 canadian dollars i picked these up for a hundred dollars on sale from the homies over at livestock and if you guys want to cop these sneakers or any of the puma thunder spectras i'll leave them linked in the description down below and you guys can click those links with that said 60 dollars off not too bad pretty solid savings on these and these are the puma thunder Spectra. The issue is right here. I had a gut feeling that this colorway I'd probably be able to cop on sale. And you guys know that feeling you get when you see a sneaker, you really like it, but you're like, I can probably wait a couple of months, be patient, and that patience will save you money. So that's what I did with these Puma Thunder Spectras. This maroon colorway with the black hits on the side, really, really clean. Really big fan of these. And as you guys know, Puma Thunder Spectra, one of my favorite sneakers. So let me throw these on feet and feel free to hit that pole up there and let me know what you guys think think about the Puma Thunder Spectras, if these are a cop or if these are a drop. Now this next pickup, this is a Jordan brand pickup. I was not expecting Jordan brand to do this at all with their sneakers. Like this was totally new. This is one of the first non-retro Jordans I've ever bought in my entire life. If you're not counting Spizx, because Spizx don't count as retros, but I've bought Spizx in the past. But like typically when it comes to Jordans, you gotta buy the retros. I've seen the homie Kusto and Seth Fowler get these from I think Jordan brand early. I think Jordan brand sent them these sneakers ahead of time and these just dropped like a week ago so I picked these up instantly and I also was able to get them for like 15% off. Let's open up this box and show you guys what I got. Ooh, here's the paper designed for flight is like inscribed on the paper a bit hard to see um, but yeah let's open this up and ooh, here we have it. So these right here are the Air Jordan Pro Tro Max 720. Yes, this is a Jordan sneaker with what I think might be the biggest air unit on a Jordan sneaker ever. This is cool. This really gives me like these tech wear kind of vibes. And uh, this is not a sneaker I was honestly expecting Jordan brand to like ever put out. This is so different compared to what they usually do. And the thing with Jordan brand is they experiment, but usually when they experiment, it's like a flop. Like it's usually hit or miss when it comes to a lot of their experimental sneakers. They got the fly knit Jordans. They got a lot of weird like exclusive colorways and kid sizes. Then they got some weird materials on certain retros and colorways just don't they don't look good sometimes. But this right here is a completely original Jordan sneaker. Even if you don't like Jordans, this is like a sneaker that you could still like. Cause it doesn't really give off those old school retro basketball vibes. It really looks like a futuristic ninja jumpman Jordan uh, sort of basketball lifestyle sneaker. This is really dope. I love the deep red on the air unit right here and with the way the black outsole complements it. It looks like a ruby jewel or a gem. And I'm looking forward to see what other colorways they 
they make for this particular shoe. This was a must cop for me. This might be a shoe that ends up going on sale, but this is just something that really spoke to me and I was like, I need to buy that. I don't care what the price is, I will cop it. And the retail price was expensive on these. It was expensive. Let me check the box real quick. Let me just reconfirm. Ooh. 265 Canadian dollars. That's how much the Jordan Pro Tro 720 Max, whatever it is, cost. Expensive shoe. I'll leave them linked in the description down below if you guys wanna buy them as well. But you guys can expect a review on this channel. And of course, if you guys haven't subscribed yet to my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365, subscribe over on there. I'll have a lot of daily sneaker reviews over soon enough. But yeah, enough chit chat. Let's throw these on feet and then get over to the mall. So here is the Jordan section of the foot action and they still have some sneakers from the restock that happened during the grand opening still available. Check it out. They still got the Jordan 11 Concords right here. Dang, these are nice. These are a size 10. They also have the Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year's with that beautiful satin. But for now, that $330 Canadian retail price point is just too much for me. Dang, they have the infrared sixes with the Nike Air on the back. But now, don't let it fool you. These are the last size they have left, size 13. These are the new Air Jordan 9. Has this all over mismatch kind of uh, look to it. Not really a fan of these. I know they released a bunch of clothing alongside this as well. They they have these Jordan 1s as well. Probably one of the uh, better Jordan 1 releases in recent months. These are uh, size 11, and these are going for full retail price, 215 Canadian. If they had a size 10, I think I might have to scoop it up, but I heard these might be one of the last pairs they have left. We, of course, have the Jordan 5 Laney's, the newer version that just came out with a predominantly blue Nubuck upper and the yellow hits. Pretty cool. It would, it would go with my outfit today. I have a blue jacket on today, but not really uh, digging the blue yellow theme. We also have the Sports Illustrated Air Jordan 1s. I didn't even realize that they had the uh, the wings, like this little tab come out with the flap like right there. These are size 11, really clean shoe. And I've seen a custom where the person actually got rid of all the green stitching on the solution. It looks really, really clean. So here's a look at the other Air Jordans that are still available as well. I'm surprised these aren't on sale because these were on sale for like 30% off on the Nike website. These patent leather ones right here, it's like a mixture of leather and patent leather. Probably one of the best Jordan 1 mids to release of all time. They also got the top three Jordan 1 mid. I think this looks like a kid's shoe, so easy pass for those. And then these ugly, ugly Jordan 3s are available on sale for 200 bucks. We found them on sale for $100 US at the Nike outlet. Here's a look at the other Air Jordans to the left. The fours with the grandma leather going on, all the wrinkles. We got the BHM 2s as well. These Oreo 1 mids. Check these out. You got the double strap Jordan 1 highs. I'm not really feeling these, but I know some people will mess with them. Sort of reminds me of the uh, NBA or the Nike Flystepper 2K13s, I think. 2K3s or 2K13s, but with the Jordan 1 uh, body. And they also have a white colorway, which looks really weird. It just looks so weird with the mudguard, that extended midsole, essentially. Sort of looks like a boot, in a way. I'm not a fan of these. They got the neon yellow Air Force 1 lows. They also got these new fall camouflage ones that just came out orange with the gum hits on the sole and the wheat accents on the side of the shoe. We got this forest green one. Now this forest one actually looks really cool. It's tempting, it's weird they're releasing it in spring or at the end of winter, but still a solid shoe. But they got these, these just came out. They're like a all satin premium, oh it's not satin, velour. It's a full velour Nike Air Force One Low 170 for the black pair. And they also have a pink pair as well. That's in men's sizing. I'm surprised they had these in men's sizing. This is a sneaker I would assume would just be a woman's exclusive, but that's pretty cool that they brought them out in men's sizing too. This white pair is actually pretty fresh as well. It has like these leaves on them. So it's not really camouflage, but it's like a winter forest with leaves. You got the pine trees right there as well. Here's a look at the other Air Force One Lows. They got the low top whites with the blue swooshes, the red swooshes, the black swooshes, and of course, the triple white. Here's a look at more of the Air Forces. They have the brand new uh, LeBrons as well that just came in. That's a really cool swoosh they got going on there. These brand new Air Force One utilities just dropped as well, but it's a mid top. And uh, these are actually pretty fresh. So I'm torn between these, this pair right here, or this pair right here, the all black leather upper with that icy blue sole or that white with the black. I'm leaning towards the white with the black, so you might buy those today. 
for a review. And these are pretty cool. I'm not sure what sneaker this is, but it gives me those Fear of God and Balenciaga kind of vibes. Really high top black leather Nike sneaker. It says Nike Double on the inside. It has what looks like that Nike AJKO outsole as well with a little indent on the very back of the sole. And these are going for 145 Canadian. Air Max sneakers that they have. All the Nike was right here. We have the Air Max Deluxe in two colorways. I think this is one of the OG ones. They also have this black and red one too, which is pretty fresh. They got a lot of 97s. A lot of 97s are coming out. They have that same like woodland camouflage on this one here. This pair is really fresh as well. I mess with these. Very like futuristic. Reminds me of the silver bullet a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, the Air Max Plus TN is on sale. $180 down from that $215. I think it's at the right price point for me to buy it. They got the blue and they got the purple colorway. Which one should I buy? Let me know with the poll up there. And this table right here has a bunch of Nike Air Max sneakers as well. Check it out. We've got the Carhartt Air Max 95s. Probably one of the best Air Max 95s in my opinion. Retail price $230 Canadian dollars. we got the Utility Vapor Max. Not really a fan of these, but they have some pretty, pretty cool colorways. But this shoe, this shoe is absolutely crazy. This is some weird like Air Force or Air Max 270. It looks like a moon boot. Like you could go to outer space with this thing, man. This thing is, is crazy. Retail price is 260 Canadian dollars. There's a zipper on it too. Let me see the zipper. Can I unzip it? What will it do? Oh, it's gonna be easier to, to take the shoe on and off. Here's a look at the Ultra Boost selection. Nothing too crazy. They do have these on sale though. The silver medal for 200 bucks. They got some Sobokov models as well. Here's a look at more of the Ultra Boost. This is the new one that just came out, the navy blue pair, the Full Locker Semi. Shout out to Full Locker. These are fire. I really, really like this colorway, the black and white. And then they also have the white with black, and this is also straight fire. And as you guys know, Champion has been popping off like crazy in popularity. They have a whole Champion section to the store, including footwear as well. So they got the collabs with Timberland, and then they also have all the sneakers. So if you're on the hunt for those, they got your back. They got some Reeboks here too, but uh, the Champion section, that's crazy. I never would have thought there'd be a Champion section in a foot action a couple years ago. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.